Welcome back to the Getting Started series. In the previous two videos, we installed and activated the plugin and created our first page. Now let's take a look at a few more features of the plugin. Let's go to Visit Site and click on the Customizer. Click on Widgets and we can add domain search widget to our header image by clicking on hero and clicking add widget. Scroll down to reseller domain search and let's click on that. You'll see that the widget has been added to our header. Sometimes certain themes may add additional margins that are unwanted and we can easily fix that by adding our own CSS. So let's go back, back one more time, and click additional CSS, and let's add in the CSS to correct that margin. And save and publish. We can also add custom menus by clicking customize again. Come down to menus and we'll edit our primary menu. And let's say we'll add a hosting tab. So click add more items, categories, and click hosting. And websites. We may also want to add a new page for example, we have added cPanel hosting in our last video, so we can add that in and make that a submenu by simply clicking it and dragging it over just a little bit. Let's click Save and Publish, and let's take a look at what that looks like. We now have a Websites menu and a Hosting menu with a submenu. So if we were to click on Hosting, it would show us all our hosting products that are available. Or you may want to only see a specific type of hosting, such as cPanel hosting, at which point you can see the page that we created. All of that was done through the customizer. Also, if you click Home, you will see we now have a domain search box in our hero image on the homepage.